Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Today we're gonna to talk about banding versus broadcast fertilizer. You know, at the PTI farm, we're evaluating different ways that we apply fertilizer at the farm. And traditionally, as a kid, I can always remember our farm family broadcast spreading fertilizer. And if you look at the picture on the screen right now, you see those little blue dots. That represents dry granular fertilizer in that typical conventional broadcast application. And you know, you look at this, it's surface applied, it's very shallow placement, you know, it's right at the soil surface. And it's the, it's the conceptual idea of fertilizing every square inch of the soil, okay? Now, we're comparing that broadcast type conventional application compared to banding fertilizer. And I really like the benefits of banding fertilizer. We're getting away from fertilizing every square inch and we're going to near root placement. So now look at all the, the blue dots on the screen. Look at how we're banding. We're doing a lot of this in strip till where we're putting the, the dry fertilizer down in the band about eight to 10 inches. And it's where the root system is at. And so it's, you know, a lot of times we'll call this luxury consumption. It's not that we're applying more fertilizer than what we want to or need to. It's just putting it in a spot that it's easy to get. But that would be the difference between broadcast spreading and banding fertilizer. And again, I mentioned strip till. That's how we're banding a lot of our dry fertilizer at the PTI farm. We've, I think we've had great success with some of our strip till, making eight to 10 inch strips. And we're putting our dry fertilizer. In my case, it's DAP. 18460 and potash 0060 down in the bottom of my strips. If I do this right, I'm not doing any other tillage until planting time and I'm putting a row unit right on top of these strips. Now, there's that broadcast, you know, fertilizer application. This is very common. I think a lot of growers are still using this and it's super easy to call a retailer and say, come on out and broadcast spread my fertilizer right on top of the ground. Some folks are doing tillage to incorporate it into the soil. Other folks are doing reduced tillage like no-till or strip-till and still leaving that fertilizer uh, near the soil surface. When we compared banding versus this broadcast fertilizer in corn this past year at the PTI farm, we saw some really interesting um, scenarios. We found that banding fertilizer gave us 17.6 bushel advantages in corn. You take that times the price of corn at 375 a bushel, that's given us economic gains by banding fertilizer of over $50 an acre. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm using the same rate of fertilizer in this scenario, but just it's just a difference of placement. Again, that luxury consumption, if you will, it makes it easier for that plant to find it and use that fertilizer. But that's over $50 of an acre advantage. And there's a cost to broadcasting the fertilizer as well as making the strips, and that's included in this economic summary. One question I, I get as well here at the farm, and I, I think through it as well in my head, is if I go away from broadcast spreading and I start banding fertilizer, is there an efficiency value there that it might eliminate some of the fertilizer that I need to apply? In other words, if I band fertilizer, can I reduce my fertilizer rate? That's one of the questions we ask ourselves here at PTI. And so we're testing this in the field. So we'll find out how much fertility we need from a soil test. And then we'll come in and we'll put 100% rates on broadcast application versus coming in with our strips and banding the fertilizer in that strip. We go from 100% rates and then I start reducing it by 25% all the way down to zero. And again, you know, I could probably get by with zero fertilizer. This, this growing season, maybe without any significant yield loss. But what about doing it year in, year out? Reducing my fertilizer by 25%, you know, from 100 to 75% to 50% to 25% and even to zero. What will that mean to soil test values? Am I mining the, the soil? What's happening to yield? What's happening to economics? This is a long-term study that we're putting in on corn and soybeans both. And I can't wait to see what this data looks like in the next 10 years. It should be exciting to evaluate this, again, again, showing the differences of conventional broadcast spreading versus banding at specific different rates. Now, as we focus more on banding, okay, we've talked about with dry fertilizer, I'm going to continue banding when I come in and plant in the spring. I've got more bands of liquid fertilizer 
that we're going to continue to focus on. It starts in the furrow with Furrow Jet Center. It's where we're putting things like sugars and biologicals in. Then we relay to our Furrow Jet Wings where I've got maybe my traditional phosphorus and zinc type starters. And then one last relay is through Conceal three inches away from the seed trench where we're looking at products like nitrogen, potassium, sulfur, and boron. But get this, everything is a band. What we're going to at PTI is banded dry fertilizer and banded liquid fertilizer on the planter. And this is what we think is gonna help set the foundation to really drive high yields. There's that five point touch. Now this five point touch is all liquid. It's not dry fertilizer. I'm getting that from my, my fall tillage with the strip till. This is all liquid, but look, it's all bands. There's no broadcast applications here. It's all banding, high concentrated bands, that luxury consumption, if you will. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is, you know, banding fertilizer offers us an efficient, high concentrated zone of fertilizer that ensures that luxury consumption that we talked about today. Broadcast fertilizer places nutrients on every square inch of the soil. And the thing, the, the problem I have with that is I don't have a root at every square inch of the soil. So let's just put the fertilizer where the root is and we'll be more efficient. You know, our testing at the PTI farm in 2020 showed yield advantages of over 17 bushel corn, and that resulted in economic gains over $50 an acre. Those are some things, some agronomic advantages and economic advantages I wanna to continue to receive with the way we're banding fertilizer. I can't wait to see the results of our long-term trials, looking at the differences of broadcast versus banding at various rates. If you wanna come see some of these trials, we'd love for you to come out to the PTI farm and see what we're doing this summer. But in the meantime, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions about anything that we've talked about, you can do two things. One, you can go to your local Precision Planning Premier dealer, ask them about what we talked about today. They'd be glad to help you. Or secondly, you can email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much.